Managing finances for busy professionals is what we're talking about today on the East Central Business Show. I'm John Nail, joined by our resident expert financial planner, Helen Baker. Hi. Yeah, fabulous. Now, are we going to, is there anything specific advice today that you're talking about? Great question. So big disclaimer, we're going to be talking general advice only mm. and not specific advice. So you can seek specific advice if mm. you like, and we'll have a disclaimer at the end. Okay. Well, all right. We've got that covered. Now, um, structure and house investment, busy professionals, maybe a couple of kids are running around. How do they fit it all in and get the finances sorted, Helen? Majority of the time they don't. So you can see lots of itty bitty bits that they started and did one year when they got motivated and then they probably stopped again and then they've done something else and they might have got advice from this person and that person off the internet, off a professional, but the left hand and right hand are not really talking to each other. So yeah. lots of opportunities to make things better, usually for their position if they just get it tidy. Yeah, well, there's always that possibility, maybe they bought some one tell shares back in the day and so based upon a bad experience there they've stopped investing or something like that right that's a really good point actually because people might try things and it might not have been the best advice to start with and so they they've been burnt from that experience and reluctant to go again but actually mm. you know getting sound advice making smart decisions with your money will accelerate your position and just should make it neat and clean and tidy yeah right i get that so you've got a, you've got a bunch of pieces on the chessboard type thing but how do we get to checkmate type thing financially and set yourself up, yeah? Yeah, so lots of people that I see who are uh, professionals, obviously they've earned pretty good salaries and they've done okay. some things, but they probably haven't set it up in the best way. So a good example was someone before Christmas and not for the first time either, which is great, is they had bits and pieces here and there, but they could have paid off their home quite a lot earlier no. which would have saved them interest and then they would have reduced taxes on some other strategies by just implementing things and, and being consistent with that mm. so it's really fun when you can look at someone's situation and just change it completely and make everything tidy and get them some great results yeah okay fair enough and obviously the thing is is that, and particularly with a busy life there's things that just tip off fall off the edge of the list yeah they yeah. push down the bottom because right in front of you is the school fees for the private schooling and that's yep. the thing there's there's those bills in front of us and the obligation to set up for our christmas holiday financial planning but honestly it's a bit of a dry subject helen can be a bit dull can't it so we try and make it a bit more fun than that so usually what we do is make sure they come in together come into the office so they're focused and mm. then we can get through those steps pretty quickly and they can get on with living the life that they've got without the stress so a lot of it is because they can't actually sit down i mean you're right most people would rather talk about something else i think on the weekend the footy or the kids or whatever so you know, they don't want to look at that or they're not really sure what to do, so nothing happens. And sometimes they're just wasting money, which could be better utilised, really. Yeah, well, ultimately, so a, a periodic visit with a financial planner is a great way to just inch your head type thing. Yeah. It's going to cost you a few bucks, I take it, but... Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Why, okay. no. But on the base of that, there's a net benefit if you've, if you've sold, paid off a home because, you know, as we well know around a mortgage, the banks are wealthy benefactors of that 30-year loan, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly There's a right. massive amount of interest while you only gradually pay off the property. Yeah, and a lot of cases that we've, over the many years that I've been doing this now, for a lot of people, the fee is actually covered because they haven't taken advantage of something or you've tightened something up. And mm. that's like really fun because then it hasn't effectively cost them anything. And yet they're back on track, they're focused, they've got a plan and everything's working together. So it's yeah, good. Yeah, that's it. So what, in your mind, what is the sort of, what's the periodical, what's the, the time amount or what's the right thing to say? What, how frequently should you know, a busy couple be coming to see someone like Helen Baker? Yeah, I think at the start, you'll certainly spend a lot more time getting the nuts and bolts right. And mm. then it can be six monthly or yearly, but when things pop up, so I always say to my clients, I'm available 24 seven, which is Monday to Friday, nine to five. <laughs> but if you've got an annual arrangement, don't wait 12 months to ask me something you heard at the barbecue, give me a call and let's chat about it. Mm. So it's about getting the advice along the way, just like you would if you went to the doctor and you, you had something wrong with you, you'd get there and find out is this right you know yeah. so well that's the thing about the classic one with this topic at the moment you know the barbecue discussion about crypto right 
sure I'm sure you want to have a conversation with your clients at that point yeah it's interesting because a lot of our clients because they understand how we invest money which is trying to avoid the things that blow up and actually investing so some of these things that people call investments are actually speculating or even gambling right so you know putting all your eggs in one basket like that is not investing and if you Mm. look at the dictionary for investing it means a return of profit through income so if you're buying selling or doing these kind of things where is the income coming from yeah because if you look at what we're trying to do is you know we went to school then we've had this work life and then we want to retire Mm. all of this is to have the same lifestyle we had back here but not working so Mm. you need an income stream if everybody had an income stream all the way through no one would be working unless you love what you do i do but yeah you do and obviously along the way you want to make sure you fund those little holidays off to antarctica or stuff like that yeah? yes because that's a great place to go <laughs> <laughs> highly recommend it yeah okay. sitting with the penguins not yet but anyway look and that's a thing i want to touch on that like this is your idea of fun you right. like to simplify pe- people's finances yeah i think a lot of people find finance bamboozling and sometimes it is presented to them in a bamboozling way mm. so my heart is to make sure that people understand what's actually going on and they feel safe and they're making informed decisions about their money so at all parties both partners male yeah and female male and female because same gender, whatever they affect get each the, other mm. come in and get educated as a team yeah and know what what each other's doing and make sure that again the left hand the right hand in the relationship um uh, in it together, understanding what's going on. Because if somebody doesn't have something sorted on their side, it's actually going to affect you and your children and even the people around you. Because if it's something bad, mm. you know, everyone's going down on the same ship. Yeah, or even the things around like untimely exits of some partner due to death type thing. Right. I mean, years ago I was in Geneva and, um, you know, met with a solicitor there who was telling me that, oh, yeah, there's this really common formula for like um, some older English lady you know, husband drops off, finds out the secret bank accounts in Switzerland and stuff like that. And then there's this tax implication and black money. Right. I mean, that's, and they're completely unaware, you know. Yeah. So you don't want to be left in that situation of unaware, unknowing type thing if the worst should happen here. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And I think uh, in the past generations, generally the, the man took care of the situation because he was working and the mums were generally the housewives. But those times mm. have moved on and, you, and there's a lot more money around now than there used to be as sure. well. So yeah. we've got supers and things like that. Like who is your nomination to? What are your insurances? Have you got income protection? Because it's great to have a good salary, but if you don't you haven't protected it and you get sick and can't work, how is everything going to stay afloat? So those foundations are key as well. Yeah, wow. How time flies. We're having fun. We're right out of time. But anyway, look, how do people get hold of you, Helen? So if they go to the website on your own two feet.com.au and you'll see uh, inquiries or the phone number to call the office. Okay, fabulous. Okay, Helen Baker, the resident expert in financial planning at the East Central Business Show. We'll talk to you next time. So just a general chat with Helen Baker, our resident expert financial planner on the East Central Business Show. Helen, now, uh, where does this passion come from about financial planning? We've just shot your first series. You've talked about you like it. Yeah. Where does that come from? I didn't know to start with. So my background was originally uh, more as a fixer. So I used to go into businesses and fix things and make things happen. So I think the combination of the finance background, the project management, the fixer, and uh, dealing with people one, two, three, and here I am. Okay, fabulous. Now, we're going to put a disclaimer up on around us at the moment, so it's probably down here somewhere But, you know, it's really important that people understand that whatever we do in these episodes is not specific advice, yeah? No. So specific advice must be tailored to their personal circumstances, mm. so we'll just be talking generally mm. about bits and things, and if that interests them and sparks them, they can seek specific advice from there okay so now how do people get the helen baker though so there's a book and there's a website to make contact yeah yeah so there's a website there is the book that you can buy i'm on linkedin um you find me wandering around brisbane <laughs> okay. leave me alone if i'm at the groceries <laughs> no <laughs> so yeah just uh on your own two feet.com.au mm. is uh the hub of where you'll find everything you need to know and really the book title as well isn't it it is what does that mean? It's all consistent. Okay, fabulous. All right, so that's a, a couple of great ways to get your Helen Baker, the resident expert financial planner on the East Central Business Show.